All right, fam, gonna be doing a special unboxing for y'all today. You know, typically I do unboxing videos for bait finesse stuff, and I use a lot of bait finesse products, do a lot of reviews and stuff, but I know a lot of people who watch my channel and they don't really care for my bait finesse stuff. They only watch my channel for the finesse techniques that I portray, you know, the lures I use, how to fish it, and this video is for y'all because I am doing an unboxing of a spinning reel. This is the Geki Bijin X uh, from Daiwa, JDM Reel. But anyway, these two reels, I've gotten it from Amazon. Amazon um, are selling Japanese reels from Japan, okay? Directly from Japan, so you do get a huge, huge discount due to the currency conversion. So uh, for my spinning fans, once again, this video is dedicated to you. So let's get this video started. Now, for those who wonder what Geki Bijin stands for and why there is a moon here, uh, Geki Bijin stands for Night Beauty. And that is basically, um, a flower, a cactus, and in fact, my mom used to cultivate this cactus, and it only blooms at nighttime. And you know, when the moon's out and everything, it's like special, specific, um, you know, conditions for it to bloom. And it's a very, very beautiful flower. My mom's very proud of growing it, and the flower is edible too. And man, I'm telling you, every single time it blooms, after it finished blooming, after we finish uh, uh, admiring the beauty, we do make soup out of it, and there's like nectar, and it is so amazing. Okay, uh, but anyway, enough of that. Let's talk about this reel itself. Um, history for me, I played a lot of uh, cheap spinning reels, never a Japanese reel, and I wanna see if this will help line twist issues, okay? That is something that I don't like to do, uh, is get line twists when using spinning reels, especially when fishing uh, light lures. It makes your lure when you reel in with very, 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 very little tension, and it causes line twists. For this reel here, it sports what they call the air drive design, which is composed of two things, the air drive rotor and air drive bail. Y'all can read more about that on their website. I don't wanna go through the whole thing, but from what I understand, right, uh, these two together will help reduce the total weight of a typical spinning reel, but without sacrificing any strength. And then also with their roller and also the way it spins, right, it's supposed to reduce uh, line twists and everything like that, okay? Um, this thing is mag sealed, so basically they have a special magnetic oil in their uh, bearings, and they do have like five plus one, uh, the roller of course, right? And having that will reduce the amount of salt and any other debris that gets into the bearing itself, which is pretty, pretty cool. The ATD Type L, that is like a sophisticated drag system, and I've said this to a lot of folks before, uh, one benefit of spinning reels over bait casting is how intricate their drag systems are, okay? Uh, it's not like a constant drag, it's tapered. So it handles like sudden bursts of powerful fish in salt water realm, because this reel is made for salt water, right? So it's pretty cool, I wanna experience that. You know, uh, using bait casting, I usually have lower drag and use my thumb to feather it. That makes, you know, it versatile in a way, but you know, sometimes you over thumb it and you may snap line, blah, 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 right? So it'll be really cool to experience some crazy battle, ultralight style with a intricate drag system, okay? So the last thing is the long cast ABS. Uh, basically, it's the top portion of the reel, which we'll take a look at in a second. Uh, they say it's supposed to reduce friction, allowing longer casting distance. Yay, okay? Uh, spinning reel is all about casting distance, right? Uh, what else? do I have on here to talk about? Uh, nothing really here, but they say this reel is made with Zion 5, is their special carbon hybrid uh, material that is lighter than metal. All right, let's go through some other specs. Okay, so this is a 4.8 to one gear ratio, and it is 60 cm per turn, or 23.9. This thing is 6.5 ounce, has 11 pounds of drag, and have five bearings, plus one roller, all right? And for the capacity, okay, 0.3 goal braid, um, that is 200 meters or uh, 218 yards, 219. Okay, so yeah, this is a pretty darn cool. Um, I'll probably use 0.4. We'll, we'll see, right? We'll see. But anyway, it is time to open up the box, take a look at the reel, see how beautiful it is. Looks like the parts list is on the side right there on the box. We got a bunch of paper and stuff, which, ooh. I think I see a handle or something right here. Hold up, let's take a look. All right, so the handle is right here. So we gotta put that on. Anything else on the side here? I think that's it. And here we go, look at that. They even protect that right there. All right, here we are. This is the reel. 
unbox. Okay, I gotta put this on. But before we do that, let's take a look at it, shall we? What I really like is this guy right here, the accent, the red accent on this. That's actually a moon. It doesn't go all the way around. It's basically like this guy right here. Hold up. Focus. That moon. Cool, huh? Yeah, I like, I like the color, man. The Geki Vision colors is, is on point. You have your black, you have your red, you have a little bit of white just for text or just some sort of gray. It's white. And then we have this dark gray, um, silverish color to match the bale. Very, very beautiful. And then you have it uh, down here too. Okay. All plastic there. Or shall I say, um, a Zion 5. Cool. Anyway, let's put this guy on. And you hold it down just a little bit, tighten it. There we go. Back and forth. Okay. Put this here. That is pretty smooth. Very, very smooth and beautiful. Mag seal, baby. All right. Well, that's pretty cool. Take this apart. Okay. I have no idea why I'm taking that apart because, uh, you know, I usually take uh, the spool out of my bait finesse reel, but might as well take a look at it, right? <laughs> but yeah, I think um, this is going to be very fun. Uh, I'll do some ultralight fishing with this because, uh, well, I'm sure you guys want to see how well this thing performs for the price. It's around 100 bucks, 100 to 110, depending on uh, uh, when you buy it uh, for the currency conversion. All right, and finally, we are talking about the spool itself. I know it should be one of the first things uh, we covered here because this is an extremely shallow spool for a spinning reel, okay? It's not BFS, right? So it doesn't need to be shallow. Well, in my opinion, when it comes to ultralight reels, it should be shallow, just like this, because I don't want a deep spool because you're gonna have a lot of line. Like you have to put a lot of line on this in order to max it if it was a deep spool. But you'll be like, hey, Jimmy, you could do a backfill. Sure, you could do a backfill, but how much, right? How much do you need? And also you're gonna create a knot and you make sure you gotta put that knot all at the bottom. Else when you're casting, if your line as it's dispensing out catches that knot, well, that's basically gonna cut your uh, casting distance down, okay? You don't want that. So anyway, back to the point, right? If you have a deep spool, the only way you cast far is if you have your spool max. If you have a deep spool and you're running out of line, let's say uh, you have 50% line, that is a bad position because you know why? Because when you have less line on this, right? When you cast out, it, the line spirals out. The less line you have, the smaller that spiral comes out and it's gonna rub on top of your spool and reduce your casting distance, okay? Which is why spinning reel folks, they don't like thick line because it depletes quick and you know eventually it'll rub on the top. It's great for finesse fishing because you use thin line, especially PE line, okay? So that's why you gotta have a shallow spool. And the other thing I wanna talk about is that, uh, I already forgot the uh, lingo, but they have something, uh, something AVS, Okay, they're basically saying that this top part right here, the way they design it, reduces friction. Okay, the way it spirals out reduces friction, so you can cast further distance. So there you have it for the spool. And um, I do like this guy right here. It looks like it holds uh, the line really, really good. Okay, so yeah, cool. Anyways, this is it for the unboxing video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment below. Yeah, it depends on the currency conversion, right? I've seen this going down to even maybe like $95, but it typically around $100 range on Amazon. You guys check out the link in the description below. Next up for me is I'm just gonna fish it. You know, it's not a big casting reel where I have to see, hey, how low an accurate could cast. This thing could definitely cast light lures, right? So. I'm just gonna fish it, right? We're gonna see how well the drag system is because I really wanna see how smooth this is. So um, I'll be fishing maybe some crappies with it, some trout with it. We shall see what the winter bite will bring me. Thank you for watching. The fish don't wait.